welcome people let us look at microbiology today in microbiology and systemic bacteriology this mycobacterium tuberculosis pulmonary tuberculosis lab diagnosis has been asked nine times okay so pulmonary tuberculosis lab diagnosis is very very important exam point of view now let us look at uh, the slide here's the slide now main headings we have covered in this table i'll just show you this table scrolls down till here we have taken this from apurva shastri and this table summarizes everything that i will explain further on in this video okay whenever they ask you a lab diagnosis you will first tell specimen collection correct the specimen collection what will the specimen be in here they have asked you pulmonary tuberculosis right so definitely you will collect sputum two sputum so one will be spot sputum and the other one will be early morning sputum the next day early morning sputum it will be but for children because they swallow sputum you cannot collect sputum hence you will have to take gastric aspirate see this gastric aspirate in children fine so this is about specimen collection for pulmonary tuberculosis if it is extra pulmonary tuberculosis that is eptb then you will have to use specimens based on the site okay but here we are concentrating on pulmonary tuberculosis so specimen collection is over now what you have to do once you have collected this um, pulmonary uh, you have collected the specimen you should concentration of the specimen becomes important here okay there is something called as digestion sorry there's something called as digestion decontamination and concentration of specimen this we will be covering for you don't worry i'll give you give you the details there are two methods in this petrov's method and nalc that is n acetyl l cysteine plus 2% naoh method okay which are the two methods for the concentration of the specimen petrov's method and n acetyl l cysteine with 2% naoh that is nalc 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 plus 2% NaOH. In the first one, it is 4% NaOH. Okay. Now let us move on. After you concentrate the specimen, you have to do direct microscopy. This you will already be aware of. Zeal Nielsen stain technique. You will have to see long, slender, beaded bacteria, which will be acid fast bacteria. This is what is the main point here for you. Acid fast bacilli. You should see. It should be red color. They are saying. Okay. Normally we have drawn pink. Actually, they are saying it should be red color. Acid fast bacilli. Okay. What are the other ways of uh, staining? You can use Kinyon's cold as uh, cold acid fast staining. This is the same thing as Zeal Nielsen staining. However, this is cold. There is no heating in this. Okay. So that is Kinyon, K I N Kin Kinyon's cold acid fast staining. Okay. Then you have the Oramine Phenol technique. Oramine phenol technique will be fast, I think. Okay. Now, though that will be the direct microscopy for you. Then you will do the culture. Culture will take weeks together. Please remember this. It will take weeks together. You and it will give you rough, tough, buff colored colonies. Buff will be kind of cream color. Okay. Rough, tough, buff colored colonies. Fine. Then you have liquid media, which will be Middle Brooks seven H nine media. This is not very important for you. Okay. You can leave that. You can also culture it on liquid media, basically conventional cultures. Then you have automated culture methods. This will be faster, uh, two to three weeks. You can use MGIT, Bact Alert, and EP ESP system. We'll come to the details of these. Actually, this um, MGIT is nothing but Mycobacterial Growth Indicator Tube. GIT Growth Indicator Tube, Mycobacterial Growth Indicator Tube. Okay, Mycobacterial Growth Indicator Tube. Fine. We are here. Please pay attention. We are here. Automated culture methods, mycobacterial growth indicator tube, then backed alert, then ESP system. In this, this P actually stands for pressure. Okay. Then coming to biochemical identification. Biochemical identification. You have niacin test, nitrate reduction test, pyrazinamidase test. Then you have resistance to TCH. Actually, this TCH stands for theophene carboxylic acid hydrazine. Okay, resistance to this, that is a biochemical identification. 
please pay attention here we are in biochemical identification niacin test nitrate test pyrazinamide test resistance to tch thiophene carboxylic acid hydrazide test okay <clears throat> then coming to serology here you will always write elisa don't forget okay always we like to write elisa and then you will write and antigen detection antibody detection you can do both whatever you want you can do and then molecular methods pcr don't forget to write all these these are easy for everything you will write these elisa then you can also write piping typing actually means what bacteriophage typing you know that right now let us move on to animal pathogenicity here you see animal pathogenicity when it comes to animal pathogenicity you actually do animal inoculation okay you can do it on guinea pig and rabbit this is guinea pig okay then we are moving to uh, latent tuberculosis how you will diagnose latent tuberculosis uh, by tuberculin test mantau test okay interferon gamma assay now rabbit. let us yes rabbit now let us uh, revise what we have seen before that let me show you zeal nielsen stain because if they ask you this question you will have to draw these diagrams okay zeal nielsen stain this is the one blue background with pink bacilli yes okay. blue background yes blue background with pink bacilli say pink but the blue color is like a yes yes okay then we are going to also show the levenstein jensen medium please remember these spellings levenstein jensen media this is how it looks this green one you will have to draw this diagram with rough tough buff colored colonies fine rough, rough buff kaffa rough tough buff what is meaning of that rough means it is rough buff means it is cream colored tough means it will be very hard okay now let us revise what How? we have seen laboratory diagnosis diagnosis of uh, pulmonary tuberculosis first we will collect the specimen that will be sputum to specimens then for uh, digestion decontamination and concentration of we will use the petroff method and nalc say nalc 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 lc na so yeah nalc uh, that is n acetyl l cysteine with a 2% naoh then you have direct microscopy zeal nielsen technique in this you have to draw the diagram don't forget then uh, other uh, staining methods are kinyon scold acid fast staining or mean phenol so you'll have to explain all these staining techniques in detail depending on the marks then you have the conventional culture that you do on the solid media that is the lowenstein jensen media then you also have liquid media automated culture methods remember to write mgit that is mycobacterial growth indicator tube backed alert and esp system say automated automated es Wait, ma, automated culture automated culture MGIT MGIT backed alert backed alert ESP ESP okay then we have uh, biochemical indication uh, identification we have the niacin test nitrate reduction test pyrazinamide test then you have the resistance to tch that is thiophene carboxylic acid hydrazine can you see this thiophene thiophene carboxylic carboxylic acid acid hydrazide can you see hydrazide 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 resistance to this has to be checked now coming to serology you actually a biochemical identification this niacin test right you have to draw one table let me show you so basically you can see this table after the growth on the lg media which is a solid media you can do whether we can check whether it is slow growing or rapid growing if it is slow growing then you will do a niacin test and if it is positive then you will declare it as positive for uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis please note this let me explain again on the lg media there is growth yeah, right yeah. once there is growth on the lg media you will check whether it is slow if it is slow then you will do niacin test and if niacin test is positive then you will declare it as mycobacterium tuberculosis okay so this is where your niacin test is helping you serology yes serology you can do antigen detection or antibody detection whichever you want you can do then coming to molecular methods you will not write pcr then you can write typing probably you will write for all the exams uh, all the tests then here you will see animal pathogenicity you will do animal inoculation guinea pig 
rabbit and you can diagnose latent tuberculosis by tuberculin test rabbit rabbit yeah. you can diagnose latent tuberculosis by tuberculin test or mantor test or even interferon gamma assay now one more thing i have to tell you in this video before we close off see this is a very brief each of this you will have to explain based on the marks okay actually this uh, whenever you do direct microscopy under the zeal nielsen stain please i need you to also focus here on the spelling z i e h l z i e h l l e e n e e l nielsen please don't forget the spelling zeal nielsen smear okay this is acid fast staining you can also explain how to do the staining okay if there is time now the number of bacilli you see like if you are seeing greater than 10 bacil uh, greater than 10 bacilli okay in uh, 20 fields oil immersion field i think this is of oif is oil immersion field right so if you are seeing greater than 10 okay in 20 um you have to screen how many fields 20 fields if you see greater than 10 per field then the grading will be the highest 3 plus this is an important table you have to remember this then if you are seeing 1 to 10 in 50 fields then it is 2 plus the last three are 100 fields so how much time it might take right 100 fields you have to scan and if you are seeing uh, anything between these you will have to give it as 1 plus scan t and mil mean you can remember at least 20 fields you will do if it is greater than 20 bacilli you will grade it as 3 plus if you do fifth, then if it is if it if you are not getting uh, 10 if you are getting 1 to 10 you have to screen 50 fields and you will grade it as 2 plus and then if there are not that many bacilli you have to screen 100 screens 100 fields you have to screen and based on that you will grade it as 1 plus scanty or mil nil will be no afb in 100 oil field oil immersion field no afb is this good there is no afb so you will grade this nil okay so this completes the lab diagnosis of uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis like i told you each of these we'll have to explain in detail but as of now i have given you a overall picture fine